Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. Uh, and um, I have a uh, special guest, uh, Ken, who is a trader who's been with Trading 180 for a while. And I wanted to get um, his uh, feedback, I guess, and um, and uh, get his experience of being and trading with Trading 180 and, um, you know, me mentoring Ken and really how he's gotten on um, with his own, you know, trading since joining Trading 180. How are you doing, Ken? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, just quickly, um, what's your background and how did you kind of get into Forex trading? Um, well, I'm about I'm only about a year and 10 months into it, truthfully. <laughs> okay. I start, starting about uh, June 2020. Wow. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a time in my life where I was looking for another path. Right. It was either school or something. Um, I'm a manager in retail right now, and I know that the job's never going to give me, like, the freedom from, like, crazy hours and, you know, low pay that I was looking for. Mm. <laughs> I noticed a friend at work was messing around with this app. It, um, it's the MT4 app. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know that at the time, but I walked up, started asking him questions about it and, um, started telling me about Forex and what he was doing and, uh, kind of got hooked. Wow. I mean, the, the money part definitely stood out. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's usually what draws everybody in, I think. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. but he started teaching me about like a little bit about supply and demand. Taught me a bit about candlesticks, charts, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Taught me how to look at Forex Factory. Right. Um, it was kind of all over the place, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you can kind of see it in like the way he was teaching me. Right. Um, he was kind of teaching me like a three break and touch, uh, three touch and break method. Right. Um, uh, and then uh, you ever heard of Ardo uh, Ardo Chartist? Yeah, I have. Yeah, they, so they, they they do the patterns, don't they? Yeah, well, this is some sort of number. Um, I don't know. It's like certain numbers registered. It's kind of like levels or something. I don't know. Okay. I, I quickly learned he was he was still learning himself. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had to move away from that. Uh, so I started just self teaching with videos on YouTube. You know, learning everything I could. Mm-hmm. When the uh, markets open, when they closed, understanding how to look at charts, chart time frames, what a pip was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I came across a lot of people teaching it, but never, mm-hmm. you know, never felt any uh, connection with how they were teaching it. You know, they would show a trading style and show, uh, always show how much they made. Mm-hmm. And I, I knew that was never the case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's never that easy. So. Mm. Um, but then I came across trading 180 and I, I didn't see any of that in the videos, you know, mm. I just, uh, started watching the weekly videos, started learning about supply, demand, um, uh, fundamentals, how important they were and saw that it was about hard work and that's where I wanted to be. So I signed up in October and the rest is history. Oh, brilliant. So, so my video kind of just popped up and you were just like, all right, let's have a let's have a look. And um, you know, you said uh, it was my weekly videos, and uh, I guess the, the weekly videos I, I generally tend to kind of focus on both, right? So the technicals, yeah, and and, and the fundamentals. So, but what yeah. was it, you know, maybe about the fundamentals that kind of rang true with you, or what is it that kind of really piqued your interest? Because most people say most people, but generally traders in the retail space um fundamentals is you know boring it's complex it's confusing it doesn't work so what was it you know about maybe uh the information that you were receiving with regards to the way that i was um uh, showing fundamentals what was it about that that kind of piqued your interest uh I, i guess the first part of it was just i knew there was more than just a a technical strategy to trading forex Mm -hmm. so i knew it had importance um and really kind of the mystery behind it i like kind of solving problems a little bit so (laughs) um 
I mean, between all that just kind of drew me in. I knew I had to learn more about it. And truthfully, you were the only one teaching about fundamentals. So I knew that if I wanted to learn that, that I had to join this group. And, you know, like I said, you weren't showing money, you know, how much you made in trades and all that. So I knew that you were for real. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny that, isn't it? Like, um, yeah. it's almost like uh, people kind of project, right? They they, yeah. they they kind of flash how much money they have rather than the actual content of their information. And this is not to kind of, you know, uh, kind of disparage anybody else. If, if, if everyone, if anyone wants to do that and, you know, they can do that. But, yeah. um, but just a little bit, I guess, about, you know, my journey, which is a quite similar to yours in a sense of, you know, you, you, you kind of get into Forex, you, you, you look at, um, you know, watch all the videos and you start to kind of differentiate between some of the information, right. When, when somebody's yeah. just flashing their Ferrari or their Lamborghini all the time, or they're saying I made, you know, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 this week, you know, a hundred thousand this week. That's not to say it's not true, but there's something sometimes where, you know, with, and you know, for example, Mark Chapman, my mentor, when I met Mark, he was exactly the same way as how I, you know, I kind of um, uh, present my videos in a sense that he wasn't flashy, nothing like that. It was just purely yeah. about the information, right? Mm -hmm. Really about the information. But um, so, so at that point, fundamental analysis, um, was it something that you were familiar with as far as the concepts like for example you know we look at gdp interest rates inflation or was that just something that uh you kind of picked up by watching my videos uh truthfully i had no clue about any of it <laughs> right i didn't know i didn't know what it was i didn't know what um yeah what it was i didn't know what it meant um i just knew that it was important and it had mm -hmm. a lot to do with um trading forex and then yeah. once i joined the group uh, i mean through the videos and the mentorship i understood i started learning like the importance like because there's only a few things in fundamentals that you really need to know um and yeah i learned the gdp the inflation and interest rates mm -hmm. and you know he taught me how they influence the banks to raise rates cut rates or hold the rates Mm -hmm. uh talking about qe mm -hmm. I, I mean i knew none of that and after i joined the group i started realizing that that you know that was what it entailed so yeah you, you could you could really kind of see it playing out over time um a lot of times you know uh fundamentals people think oh you know it's going to happen this week or it's going to happen today but as we know, um, and as I teach, sometimes it's a process. We talk about the the, the medium to kind of long term, right? Yeah. You know, um, and sometimes it does work out in the short term, as we know. But generally, we're looking at, you know, a month, two, three um, ahead and looking at those uh, longer term trends. So I guess a question would be, um, what? benefits i guess do fundamentals add to your trading so you know things like you know pair selection for example holding trades taking profit like what um you know if you were to say to somebody you know as far as the benefits of of, of fundamental analysis to their technical analysis you know what 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 would you say specifically maybe uh would 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 be kind of clarify why they need fundamentals I would say it definitely helps with confidence. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you can you can trade technicals, but you're really going to have the confidence to hold that trade for you know mm -hmm. a, a long period of time. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are just in and out, but to be in and out, you have to risk you know a high percentage. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, to, if you, unless you have a lot of capital, but um, so for um, fundamentals, just help okay well if these guys are hiking then i should probably be buying this for the next you know however long until mm -hmm. this country is either hiking or you know whatever they're doing so i just i just say it helps with the confidence yeah yeah it definitely and, and as far as the trade direction and even things like for example pair selection right like yeah. generally i think traders are driven by the technicals so you know, I've, I've seen traders make their trading decisions based off of, you know, whether price is at a supply or demand zone, 
Whereas we know now, if we're looking to get, for example, long on a, on a currency pair, you know, looking to buy the, the, the base currency, do we, we don't care about supply zones, right? Yeah, that does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter because overall, in, I mean, it matters maybe to a point where you may get some, you know, maybe a bit of a rejection, but in the medium to long term, pretty much, you know, we know where the, uh, we have, well, I say we know, but with a higher probability, we, we should know where the, 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 the uh, trend is, is, is going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you think we or you would have probably figured out the fundamentals and the way that is traded without joining Trading 180? Uh, truthfully, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I could have gone down a, a huge hole and started learning everything about it, kind of like how I started. Um, but I think it would have pretty much led me to the point where I started putting every bit of news into it and started mm. trading <laughs> off of that and not mm. really uh, understanding how it works. Um, so I don't think it, you know, it would have been good for me at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, Go on. Especially, um, you know, understanding like the difference in the news between the noise that mm -hmm. just pushes prices around a little bit and the yeah. actual, you know, market moving news. Uh, I think a lot of people get that, you know, confused. Yeah. I mean, I guess for, it's good for us because we call that the capture. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah, so. you know, for sure. And um, yeah, you know, you're right. Uh, um, fundamentals can be very overwhelming, right? You know, you can yeah. go so many different things about fundamentals, but it's what really matters, you know, yeah. and, um, one of the things we use, I guess, and to simplify the fundamental analysis process is the fundamental analysis spreadsheet, which again, I have to thank you, Ken, for, uh, for helping, um, you know, update that and uh, your knowledge with, with the fundamental analysis spreadsheet and um, how useful has the spreadsheet uh, been and um, how accurate kind of thing have you found it um, over the time that you've been, you know, trading with Trading 180? Uh, I really enjoy the the sheet. Truthfully, it's uh, the way it's laid out. It gives you the pairs. You know, it'll start from the strongest to the weakest. So it kind of, I mean, you should still do the fundamental research, but it kind of gives you a, an insight on the bigger pairs you should be trading. Um, and it also helps if you're trying to put the puzzle together. Yeah. You, you look at it's got GDP, inflation, you know, interest rates jobless reports um uh jobless rates so it's kind of got if you know what to look for you can kind of just it's right there you can look at the pieces put it together yourself without even looking at the pair um selection but that's there if you need it um it's got some overview charts it's it's pretty good i like it yeah and it really does simplify i guess the process right it really yeah. does, you know, like you said, cut out a, a lot of the noise. And how accurate have you found it in a sense of over the medium to long term? Because, you know, short term, we know that, you know, there's um, liquidity and market making that goes on. So short term, you know, is probably a bit more less reliable. But from a, but from a trending perspective and really understanding, you know, looking at the fundamental analysis spreadsheet ranks and then looking at, what you should be buying and selling, depending again whether we're in a in a risk on or risk off environment. How accurate have you found the the, the spreadsheet? Uh, pretty accurate. I mean, if you're if you're not short term trading, like you said, mm -hmm. um, it's it's got its ups and downs of the short term. Uh, mm -hmm. But we shouldn't be looking for short term anyways. We're looking mm -hmm. for the medium, the long term, mm -hmm. and it's pretty accurate. I mean, I took a lot of trades based off of that, and uh, yeah. they've. They've come out pretty good. So brilliant. Brilliant. Um, so what would you say was some of your biggest maybe light bulb moments, your aha moments um since joining Trading 180? And um, you know, maybe one of one or two of them and maybe how they've specifically impacted your trading. Uh, I'd say the biggest aha moment um was actually that video you made on the relationship between GDP inflation and interest rates. Right. Um, I mean, that, that video simplified the whole thing for me. It started 
taken me from learning every like I said, everything about the news, trying to take it all and fit it in to, you know, boil it down to these three things. I mean, after that video came out, I was I was glad I was here. <laughs> I, I liked that video. So um and then just uh, how interest rates work, like what it takes for them to um hike, cut or hold, you know what I mean? If this inflation is going in this direction, um what are they what are the banks looking to do? I mean, that graph you had on um that helped me a lot. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, so I guess from a fundamental perspective, um, you know, we have, I guess, an insight into how really the banks influence uh, the appreciation and depreciation and devaluation of, of, of currencies, right? And ultimately what we're doing is trading divergences, um, between you know one currency and another and um, I guess online you know that really isn't explained and even emphasized so much you know um, when you when you're looking at for example you know things like forex factory all generally people tend to do is look at you know well is the news positive or negative buy or sell I guess if things were that simple <laughs> you know what I mean we'd, yeah. we'd, we'd all be millionaires but it takes a lot more than that right yeah and then they end up losing after that and they wonder why. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if it was that simple, you know, we, we, we'd all be doing it. Yeah. Um, so I guess let's get into maybe some of the technicals, right? Um, in a sense that we trade, um, you know, three main strategies. So from um, supply and daily supply and demand zones, capture pain relief and um, stop hunts. So... Yeah. With those uh, strategies, would you say that, you know, your understanding of how the market moves beyond fundamentals um, is is pretty much at a high level? You pretty much understand why the market is doing what it's doing at, at generally all times. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can see. Um, I can see where the market makers sit. I can see where the banks sit. Um yeah. Yeah, you can you can tell the levels. Like I said, you tell the difference between them. The market makers are there to push the price around, so people buy and sell, especially with the news. And the banks definitely have those big pushes. So yeah, I could see it. Yeah, because we do cover things like not only the strategy, but we, I guess, how the market works in a sense of uh, market maker unfair auctions, right? And yep. you know, and and liquidity, right? So you know, we're not coming to a chart and trying to generally trying to figure out our trades as we're looking at a chart. We can, you know, we, we, we do look and plan ahead. One of the really advantages of, I guess, the way that we trade is that we can see what the banks and what market makers are doing ahead of time and what they're likely to do ahead of time, right? Yep. And uh, I guess once we see that and we see the patterns that develop around certain levels, it's just a case of, and especially when we have fundamentals involved in it, it's just, uh, you know, some some trades are just uh, are brilliant, right? It's just, you know, you might wait maybe uh, a, a, a week or maybe a few days for it to turn around. But generally, once they come down to certain levels, you know, we're, we're, we're quite patient. And, uh, and some of those trades, once they, they do work out, because not every trade works out, of course, but when they do work out, they can be really kind of monster trades. So, oh, yeah. Gonna, <laughs> so yeah, exactly. So, you, so you've done. So I'm, I'm just going to, I guess, uh, lead on to uh, the question, which would be, um, you know, to maybe kind of talk us through um, one of your last trades, profitable trades, or maybe one of the biggest trades you've taken since, you know, joining, joining Trading 180. Uh, my last profitable one was um, the New Zealand yen. Okay. Um, right, we'll go to a chart and we'll, we'll have a look. So New Zealand yen, uh, we're on it already. And uh, yeah, so from top to bottom, I guess, from maybe the, a fundamental perspective, risk sentiment perspective, maybe just break down the trade, um, you know, in general terms, I guess, you know, for anyone who's listening and how, you know, we do our, we, we, we approach the markets. Um, well, so New Zealand yen, I wanted to be a buyer of New Zealand because I know that they're they're doing quite well. Um, they're actually they hiked already, uh, projected to possibly hike again. 
um, in Japan, they're just, they're kind of lagging, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, if you look on our uh, spreadsheet, mm -hmm. it's actually uh, one of the top pair, one, it's in the top five pairs to trade. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, yeah, down. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah. So three. Yep. So that kind of showed me that I'm definitely in the right direction. I want to be buying the uh, New Zealand over the yen. Um, so then it was just a matter of waiting for it to come back. And it was an area I was interested in. Um, okay. It was where you get the daily. So you get the 76 area. 76. I was interested. You can see to the left where it kind of came down. Yeah, right. Yeah, right over to the left is what uh, the area I was looking for because of that. Yeah. And it kind of took off from there and came back. Um, yeah. And then I jumped in right at the bottom there. And then I took that puppy to the top. <laughs> yeah. Took it to the yeah. top. So are you out of that trade now totally? Yeah. Yeah. It stomped me out right. Uh, where was it? The, yeah. 78.5. It's that big candle where it came down. Okay. Brilliant. So you were literally just looking at this whole area here. Um, I think this has and, and was also a, a bit of a CPR, right? A bit of a quite a deep CPR. Yeah. Was it, was it was it was did you take it based off of the CPR or was it a daily demand zone? No, it was uh the CPR because then yeah, for yeah. me I noticed that some of them kind of come down and it's not yeah, it's not all the way down. So I, I kind of like to wait for the ones that come towards the bottom more. Yeah, yeah. So you can absolutely. see to the left. It kind of came down, but it wasn't like uh, I didn't really want to take that right. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, took right this there. one. I did take this. Oh, one. you did. Yeah. yeah, I did take that one. And then, um, yep, that went right there to the right. Yep, yeah. I took that. Mm -hmm. Just kind of jumped in once it got down towards my level, and yeah. then I held it. It was about a couple weeks. Okay. This whole uh, Christmas period, and it was just kind of slowly drifting up, but. I caught that one, and then the dollar yen was the, kind of the same idea. So I caught both of those. It was uh, yeah. I remember. Let's go over the dollar yen quickly. So dollar yen on the daily. We were looking at down here, weren't we? The one twelve fifties, one thirteens, weren't we? Yeah, it was right, right there. there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then that was like it took a minute, but it was a, a capture. Yeah, really nice, really nice trade. Right there at the bottom, yep. Yeah, excellent, excellent. And you rode that up over Christmas, New Year's. Yeah, it was 15.5 there is where they stopped me out this last oh, 15, week. 15.5? Uh, yeah, last week, yep. Okay, okay. So uh, that's been a good two, 300 pips, right? Yeah, and those yeah. are the those are the trades you want. <laughs> to, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm still waiting for the 600, 700 one, but. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. That's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Um, so, uh, so yeah, anyone, I guess, to kind of wrap up the interview and, and thank you for doing this, by the way, really yeah. appreciate, you know, your time and uh, your honesty on, um, on my mentoring and, uh, you know, how it's affected your trading. But um, for anyone listening, I guess, what would your message be uh, to them? Uh, to you know to join trading 180 or to or to not i guess but but to join trading 180 uh truthfully uh i'd say not to wait i mean if it's i mean it, it seems like a lot of hard work but it, you know in, in the end you get it um and then you get to enjoy like the fruits of your labor um it gets easier as you go and especially with you mentoring i mean all the videos that are in there just it's just amazing, truthfully. There's a lot of informational videos in the community. There's a lot of, you know, other successful traders in there that, yeah. you know, we all kind of put our trade ideas together. And, you know, it's a pretty powerful thing that I think a lot of people overlook too. So uh, definitely changed my life. I'm definitely a better trader for coming here. And I thank you for it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ken. And um, again, I was taught you know in the way that i was taught by my mentor and um you know i thought i'd uh, pass on the energy right it's 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 to prove to traders that it can be done you know it's not a scam it's not a get rich quick um uh, a scheme 
there yeah. is as you say there is hard work right yeah, there is hard time. work it does it does take time um but once you do get it you know you you you, you do see the fruits of 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 of, of your labor and um, i'm just glad that and happy for you that you can now i guess um you know catch your own fish right because teach right. fish he eats for a day catch a man i mean teach a man to fish and uh, he eats for a lifetime so uh you know we um that's what i'm all i'm trying to do and i'm, I'm just so uh glad and happy that um you know you've uh, you've got to a point in your trading where you are independent right if i was to suddenly just up and leave you have all the tools all the skills and everything you need in order to be profitable oh yeah i could definitely get there now yeah yeah brilliant brilliant thank you ken really appreciate it and uh i'll speak to you in the group and uh i'll see you soon thanks for your time perfect thank you take care